Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we begin this Eucharist, let us be sorry for our sins, and let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. 
O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas. And since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second book of Kings. When the Lord was about to take Elijah up to heaven in a whirlwind, he and Elisha were on their way from Gilgal. Elijah said to Elisha, Please stay here. The Lord has sent me on to the Jordan. As the Lord lives and as you yourself live, I will not leave you, Elisha replied. And so the two went on together. Fifty of the guild prophets followed, and when the two stopped at the Jordan, they stood facing them at a distance. Elijah took his mantle, rolled it up, and struck the water, which divided, and both crossed, crossed over on dry ground. When they had crossed over, Elijah said to Elisha, Ask for whatever I may do for you before I am taken from you. Elisha answered, May I receive a double portion of your spirit. You have asked something that is not easy, Elijah replied. Still, if you see me taken up from you, your wish will be granted otherwise not. As they walked on, conversing, a flaming chariot and flaming horses came between them, and Elijah went up to heaven in a whirlwind. When Elisha saw it happen, he cried out, My father, my father, Israel's chariots and drivers. But when he could no longer see him, Elisha gripped his own garment and tore it in two. Then he picked up Elijah's mantle that had fallen from him and went back and stood at the bank of the Jordan. Wielding the mantle that had fallen from Elijah, Elisha struck the water in his turn and said, Where is the Lord, the God of Elijah? When Elisha struck the water, it divided, and he crossed over. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. How great is the goodness, O Lord, which you have in store for those who fear you, and which toward those who take refuge in you, you show in the sight of the children of men. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from the plottings of men. You screen them within your abode from the strife of tongues. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Love the Lord, all you his faithful ones. The Lord keeps those who are constant but more than requites those who act proudly. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Please stand. Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you will have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not blow a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, to win the praise of others. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right is doing, so that your almsgiving may be secret, and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites who love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on street corners so that others may see them. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go to your inner room, close the door and pray to your Father in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face so that you may not appear to others to be fasting, except to your Father who is hidden, and your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, our first reading today is about the handing on of the mission to be a prophet from Elijah to Elisha. Elijah was taken up to heaven and towards the end of our first reading, Elisha asked, Where is the Lord, the God of Elijah? Where is the Lord, the God of Elijah? This question of Elisha has been a question of humanity in all of history. Where is God? Because the truth is, there are many times when we do not seem to see God. Maraming pagkakataon sa ating buhay na tila baga hindi natin nakikita ang Diyos. We do not always see God but God always sees us. We may not always feel His presence, but God is always with us. Even though we do not see God, God definitely sees us. And this is what Jesus tells us in our Gospel today. Three times did Jesus say that our God is a Father who sees what is hidden. Our God sees what is secret. And so we could not really hide anything from Him. He sees everything. 
He knows the thoughts running in our minds. He sees the intentions of our hearts. He knows our deepest secrets. He sees and knows everything. Hindi man natin palaging nakikita ang Diyos, pero ang lahat nakikita ng Diyos. Ang lahat tungkol sa atin nakikita ng Diyos. Wala tayong maililihim sa Kanya. Kahit ng ating pinakatatago-tagong sikreto, alam na alam ng Diyos. Kaya maitago man natin ang mga bagay sa ating kapwa, maitago man natin ito kahit sa ating sarili, hindi natin maitatago sa Diyos. Nakikita kanya, alam niya ang lahat. But the question, my dear brothers and sisters, is this. As God looks at us, what does He see? Kung nakikita ng Diyos ang lahat, ano kaya ang nakikita niya sa atin? My dear brothers and sisters, may we always be conscious of the fact that God sees everything. He looks at us with love 24-7. May He always be pleased with what He sees. Please stand. Let us pray today to the God of truth and love for, for truthfulness and sincerity in the church and in the world. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may take to heart the task and the mission of renewal so that Christ may be clearly perceived by all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That priests and religious may be assiduous proclaimers of the gospel through their witness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That civic and community leaders may be sincere and unselfish in their effort to bring justice, dignity, and unity to the people they are called to serve let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and those who find life burdensome may see God's special love and care through the concern of their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That the dead may enjoy God's everlasting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers and all the intentions offered in this Mass. God our Father, help us to love and to serve you in spirit and truth. Through Jesus, who is our way to you, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant we pray that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we to extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our Amen. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
please stand. Let us pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your Church through Christ our Lord. Amen. We invite you to our Healing Rosary for the World tonight at 9 o'clock. We invite you to gather as a community and as a family and together, let us implore the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The host of this evening's rosary is the St. Isidore, the farmer parish in San Isidro, Nueva Ecija. And we will pray the Holy Rosary in front of the original image of the Nuestra Señora de la Soledad de Nueva Ecija. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.